Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Rogue Tech Cold Forged. So, last episode, we refit both lances, the main lance and the secondary lance, and we got uh, a lot of things up and running. I did not have a look in the barracks between episodes like I said I was going to do, but um, we'll do that before we leave today. So, um, yeah, we got our main lance up and running now, and let's have a look at our mech warriors before we drop down. Here we go. All right, so cold metal. Got a little bit of points to spend. Indirect fire and sensor distance. I don't know if it's really worth it, but definitely the over three overheat threshold is worth it. So we're going to take that. Let's confirm this. Mech warrior training complete. And Hickory yep. as well. We don't have anything we can spend, although we do have our tactics up here, which is good. Minimum range um, removed and just cruise improved uh, sensor distance and indirect fire penalty because she's got that nice big arrow system now to, to play around with. And pylon, we still have some points, but we can't do much with them. And recoil, the same thing. No big deal. Okay, so I've already chosen the contract we're going to do today. And we're going to take, once it shows up, biological sample. So we need to recover operatives from inside Darman Sharkian Research Facility. So my guess is it'll be the really heavy lance defending it, or it'll be a mediocre lance with some reinforcements. So uh, let's take this one. The reason why I like this one is that we get four of 17 salvage. The other ones that were up above were two of two of nine and higher risk. At least with this one, we can get some good salvage out of it. So let's accept this. And we will flush out our secondary lance here, which really isn't our secondary lance anymore because we've changed some things. And let's bring in the Zeus. Let's bring in the Catapult, the Warhammer, and the... Where are you? Wolverine. Okay, so... Uh, cold metal in the Zeus hickory in the catapult and let's put um, as much as I want to um, gotta decide what we're gonna do now uh, recoil might move down to the lower lands and might bring a riddler up only because he's got the warlord ability for the warhammer um, I think I did error last time when I put both of these guys as having the uh, phantom mech ability but i think if we split them up into each to each of the two different lances um this guy can stay with the shadow hawk i think so let's bring riddler up into the main lance for now and pylon will go down to the wolverine in the last slot here let's deploy this and get it done all right four mechs on the ground and i read that wrong I thought it was a single recovery, but it is a biological sample recovery. So we do have two full lances, one over here and one over here. Didn't realize it until we were I was reading the info coming down here. So yeah, this should be fun. Um, and I think I'm going to do my traditional move. There's a couple things you can do in this one. One, you can kind of race up the road, try and grab the sample and get the hell out of here. Uh, the other way to do it is to come up this way. Um, Sorry, that would be grab the uh, person and get out. This way would be come and grab the sample and then move over and grab the uh, person. It's a little trickier to do this way, um, but you do have some hills as cover here. And we have a mineral field back here that we can move ourselves into. Um, hopefully kill these guys off and then force a battle in here with the other guys. Uh, if you go this route, um, chances are, because these guys have roads and stuff, they'll catch you in here somewhere as you're coming up the hill and you've got guys on either side of you. That can be tricky. So at least with this way, we can keep everybody in the same kind of firing arc. So my uh, favorite way to go is this way. So I will be going that way. Commander. And we don't want to go too fast. All in don't want to alert them too early of our presence. I live to serve. Uh, let's go with... Yeah, really interested to see how this arrow system works. We've only got 10 rounds with it, so we're going to have to be sparing with the ammo. Will be done. Especially since we've got two lances to face here. I guess the other thing we can do is try to outfit it with... Um, is try to outfit that uh, catapult with a couple of long-range laser weapons too as support. Alright, so there's our first guy. Don't know how heavy he is yet. Uh, let's reserve. Um, 
How confident am I here? Let's get to here. We're going to be seeing them anyway. So let's do that. We've only got one guy on sensors so far. They'll be coming though. Okay, here a vehicle. That's good. Matter. The more vehicles we have, the better off I think we'll be. Uh, I'm mostly ammo, so let's get up here. So I'm saving my ammo for when I engage the main guys here. These guys are failing, fading over to that side. Uh, so when you're moving in, if you're concerned about uh, saving ammo, always move the guys with ammo first and then move your laser guys last because yeah. your laser guys can pot shot from a distance. Out. And you're not, you're not wasting any ammo with your pot shots. This should be interesting too. Our heat's mostly flush, but we do have a lot of weapons, so the things we have to worry about now is like overheating a lot. Clans don't really have that problem too much. They usually all have pretty good heat sinking. So we got two mediums. Two lights, a medium, and a heavy. That's actually good for us. Jenner 2C, that's not good for us. Don't like those things. So 70 tonner. I think we get eyes on, but I don't think we do it with the Wolverine. I think we reserve. Um, let's reserve again. Hearing vehicles from over here. Maybe that's a good sign. Think about vehicles, if they don't have a lot of armor, it's just basically e easy salvage, right? Okay, so let's see if we can gun this 70-tonner early. Okay, so what do we got here? A white 4NC, large pulse, medium pulse, enforcer 2C. That's all splash except for the heavy lasers. And so I'm thinking this is our guy. Um... Yeah, he's bracing and everything. So let's just fire normally. And we're going to leave... We're going to leave the small off for now. It's not really going to do much anyway, so let's just do that. Not going to be doing a lot of stability damage with those LRMs, but that's not what they're there for. The dead fire ammo, it's 6 damage a pop, so it's relatively pretty good. Okay, we don't have a full sprint in there. Um, yep. Let's go this yep. way. Huh. Those are pretty good chances to hit, and we're going to take them. So I'm interested to see how these LB2Xs do. I know they're not going to do a lot of damage, but they do do they do do crits. So Archer, that's a lot of friggin' missiles. Let's see if we can make this guy unstable a little bit. Okay, not a whole lot. Screw you! Should have put the NSS on the Zeus, like I said I was gonna. Yeah. Alright, Hickory, let's get some direct fire on this guy. Understood. Got 10 turns of firing with the arrow, 16 with the Thunderbolt. Can't see it using us using that any time later against these other lighter guys, but we definitely want to get this guy fast, the archer C. Okay, is he unsteady? He totally is. Let's see if we can get his ass on the ground. Gonna hold off on the Phantom Mech. Let's get right in on this guy though. 
Got the boomstick. Nice close range shot. Maybe he'll decide to shoot against me. Um, this guy's got nice armor, man. Doesn't really work, matter where I hit him. I'm just going to shoot at him. Hopefully knock him down. Nope, but at least he's tagged. And we do go before him, so... Not worried about that. Okay, learn vehicle. Yeah, that's the guy you want to shoot for. Yeah, we want to kill this guy too. Is this the DACA one? No, he's got streaks. Okay, not so bad. I'm more terrified of the of the uh, light machine gun version because he's got like six or seven or eight light machine guns and it just plinks the head like crazy. Yeah, you're definitely targeting the right guy. So that's nine chevrons of evasion before he even has the, uh, what the what's the skill again called? Phantom Mech? Uh... I'm going to use this now, only because we are not going to be moving all that much. I want people to still be shooting at him. Oh, you missed. Damn it. But at least he's still got a ton of evasion. Well, two, four, six. It's better than nothing, I guess. Um, I need you to put this guy's ass on the ground, please. All right, let's see how this loadout does now. It's actually not bad heat-wise. I thought it was going to end up being worse. Uh, let's Warlord this again. This is really the mech that we're worried about. We don't want him to shoot, so let's fire everything. Okay. Now, can we get eyes on that Jenner? 38, 80% on the hunchback or the uh, enforcer. We're going to move over here. Got, it. No shooting, just running. Got good chance on this guy, so we're going to fire. Uh, or are we? We could try and kill this guy. Got case ammo though. Does he? Yeah, let's go after this guy. How did that taste? Well, not so good, but you didn't hit him where I wanted you to. Down to seven. Alright, what are they doing? What's up, buddy? Is that the enforcer? That was a huge jump. That was a huge jump. Guy only, he's only got five. He must have a massive engine. Well, considering he doesn't have... Well, he's got 800 and something armor. It's still pretty good. Yeah, that uh, supercharger, like a walking distance, is crazy on this guy now. Hmm... Damn. Just really hoping to get both of these guys. 
Well, we could learn the other guy. How badly do we need to kill on that archer right now? Not that badly. But this guy here is a bit of a threat. So we're going to do a multi-target. And uh, we're going to go A. And B. B is going to get all the missiles. Mm. Maybe not all of them. Is it worth going Warlord at this moment? Yeah, I think so. And my reasoning is that these other guys aren't going to be so bad to kill. But once these other guys, these other mechs show up, we'll have our Warlord back, hopefully. So we'll do our multi-target. Oh, we can't do a multi-target with... Right. Well... Let's take the shot on this guy then. And fire it all. Yeah, we weren't going to get a better chance than that, I don't think. With that distance of jump, it's a big threat to our arrow system. Can't have that. Plus, this guy's going to have really bad accuracy just getting up now, so. Oh, he's going to melee. You just saw what happened, right? You just saw what happened, you're gonna melee? You, you, you saw that, right? Yeah, see, he's going on turn one too, right? And he's not moving very far, so my guess is, it's, yeah, it's a 90 tonner. We gotta be very careful here. Okay, light vehicle. Probably most likely a striker of some sort. Good thing we have stability reduction here. Yeah, so I was saying on one of my posts as we're waiting here, uh, I finally got my CPAP fixed. Got that fixed this morning. Oh, screw you for shooting me. Um, so hopefully within the next few days or so I won't be so tired. Which is good because the weekend's coming up. I'm recording this on a Thursday, so uh, weekend's coming up. And I should be able to record a lot more this weekend, I hope. Because being tired and trying to record during the week has been really tough for me. But what I normally try and do is knock off all my Funky Steve's Medinas for the week, on the weekend. Um... But I wasn't able to do that last weekend. I didn't get them all. Plus, I screwed up the audio. I apologize about that, guys, again. I know I've already, already apologized once, but I'm apologizing again because that was pretty bad. Even for me, I started editing it. I'm like, oh, no, I have to redo these. And then I'm like, oh, no, I'm not going to redo them. I'm too tired. So uh, I wasn't going to redo four episodes or five episodes or whatever it was. All right, let's deal with some damage to this guy now. Thinks he can just stand there and not be a part of the fight. We'll show him that he has to be. Good luck with that. Now I should have plus two more evasion. Because it's supposed to last for two turns. So it would have been last turn and this turn. So I don't know how that worked out or not. Um, Waiting for order. So how much does this archer have in his back? Doesn't have anything on the front. Wow. Uh, nothing. This Christ is like a hunchback. We're just going to walk over here, get our stability back, and, uh, yeah, hopefully deal the death blow to this guy. Yep. One last problem. Thank you. So, let's get into the mineral field. And since we have a nice little unstable target over here, let's just uh, use the arrow. Now, the last time we did 117 damage, this is in the forest, so I'm hoping we do, I don't know, 120 maybe? Or we just blow them up. That works too. Gotcha. <laughs> so we use three arrows now. 
yeah, I'm enjoying that weapon. The plus or minus 75 damage is iffy for me, but the thing is, is that if you consider it's pretty much the same as a Gauss Rifle hit. Um, get our stability back here. Um, it's pretty much the same as a Gauss Rifle hit, so, um, you know, you can kind of take that. All right, we're just going to fire straight on this guy. Yeah, AC 20 hit, nice. He's unstable. Plink, plink. Eleven left in the leg. Figures. Yeah. Need bigger weapons than that, buddy. Still does a fair bit of damage, but damage. not anywhere what you need for a back shot, that's for sure. Zoya? Is that what it was? Look. The angle on me. I think that's a LBX2, probably, or LBX5. Light damage, Commander. Ready for orders. Yeah, I don't want you too far back. I want you to be able to move up as soon as we see those guys. So let's just sprint over to here and do that. Just going to shoot this guy. Uh, leave the boomstick off. Oh my god. You hit with both of those? You had like 11% or whatever it was. 14%. I didn't even look. It was so low. Okay, so we got two mechs and two vehicles. Which is probably a blessing. Standing by. Got it, Commander. Um, we're gonna leave all four mediums off, I think. Should give us a bit of, well. Yeah, they're really low chances to hit, so let's just leave those off. Got lots of missiles and stuff left, so let's just fire. Locked and loaded. Here it comes. Wow, you missed with both of those. Okay, he's going down. Solid connection on that one. What do you need? Let's move over where we can see him. Yeah, I'm loving this thing. Uh, let's just go for the CT and fire. 179, man. Nice. Tango down. Yeah, the aero system's giving me some confidence now. That's for sure. Um, we can't get eyes on. Well, kind of. Full throttle. Zoria. Or Zora. LBX-5. ATM-9. Let's dump the missiles on the guy. We got lots of them still, so... Do a bit of softening work on him. Not much. How much ammo do we have left? Huh. Took a big punch in the CT there. This 90 tonner I'm worried about. Um, we're going to reserve. And reserve again. 100 tonner, great. Annihilator 2C. Sure, why not? <sighs> okay, at least it's splatter damage. Look at the armor on this thing. God damn it. Back's not so good though. But not like we're going to be getting around to his back anytime soon. Well, we'll find out how much range he's got here in a second. As long as we can see him, we can shoot him. Got the Warlord back, let's confirm that. We got really good chances to hit anyway. Uh, do we want to take a precision strike? No. The reason I say no is because this is just a soften up attempt. We don't want to miss with it.
Don't worry about that guy. Commander? Don't worry about the hand that you can't see. Sorry, don't worry about the hand that you can see. Worry about the hand that you can't see. Okay, we're going to target this guy. We're going to worry about that 90 ton mech, but just not right now. Okay, he's marginally unstable. Oh, out of range for the LRMs, eh? What if we sprint over here? Stay hidden from those other guys. Gonna do this. Gonna vigilance. So we can go ahead of this guy next turn and remove our instability. Gonna target this guy with everything and make him unstable. Nice. Okay, so now everyone's gonna go against this guy while he's unstable. Uh, Pylon? Let's get over here. Come on, buddy. Coasting it up. Uh, let's get the boomstick back on and fire it all. Tagged. Nice. Make it even harder for him to get away. All right. Standing by. Let's go up to this side, please. Move order received. Here it comes. Most likely it'll be a knockdown. Oh, no. Bastard's tough. Critical hit, Commander. I'll give it to him. He's tough. Okay. Ready for order. Roger that. Let's just walk it over here. Got our warlord back. Let's use it. Firing on this guy. Okay, there's the knockdown. Now, the question is, is do we target heads? <sighs> okay, definitely going to go Warlord on this. I want to try and finish this guy up as fast as we can. Right torso, 52%. It's got what left? 51. We could CT this guy. much as I want the salvage from this, I want this guy to be gone more than anything right now. Okay. There we go. And flying pieces of whatever. Hovering. It's the anti-grav pieces. And we don't have eyes on that other guy now. Really? That's okay though. We can move, maneuver ourselves. Better location, I think. Get over here. This guy's running nice and cool. That's what I like. Better think twice, buddy. Better think twice. Okay, we're going to reserve again. I want to go right back to turn one. Feels like cheating, though. I understand why in the uh, newer version they put in the hesitation bonus. It definitely should be there. Okay, we're going to vigilance this guy because I want to go before this guy again next turn. So we're going to move up. Get eyes on for everybody else. And a Highlander. We do have got, we've got Highlander parts. So let's see if we can maximize 
parts off this guy. Not quite unstable yet. Yes, Commander. But he will be in a second. Roger that. See if we can put this meat sack on the ground. Putting my weight into it. Come on. Knock him down. Yeah, we got the tag on him though. Reporting critical hit. Nicely done. What do we got over here? Er, Axel 2C. AP Goss rifle, eh? Large pulse LRMs, not so bad. And this, yeah, this guy. All right. Um, yeah. Oh, you don't even need to move. Just shoot this guy, please and thank you. Well, we got the leg. Oh yeah. And we're gonna target the other leg now. Ah, oh, well, there goes the torso. Just get up here. Moving to position. Go after this other leg. Fire. Firing all weapons. One hit. A lot of cross shots there. Sorry, buddy. Didn't mean to bag you. Destroyed the side torso so the guy died. Or took a hit, I mean. Enemy flanking. Yeah, don't worry about the enemy flanking. Okay. Oh, this guy's CT is almost gone. Well, we might get the leg. How much armor does this guy have? Not that much at the back. Orders. Can you, uh... Yeah. Can you do that? Location confirmed. Let's make sure this guy's not, uh... Messing with us while we're doing this. Oh! 211. Come on, finish him up. There we go. Nicely done. Vehicle down. Thought there for a second we weren't going to get it. All right, so we don't want to. Everybody goes before this guy. So what do I want to do now? Further. I'm receiving you. Probably more pinpoint than well. It's a tough choice. You know what? Yep. I think you're more pinpoint than most. Let's try for that leg. We either get it or we don't. Copy that. Yeesh, what do we get? Torso. And the CT. <sighs> Alright Riddler, I'm leaving it to you. Got to prove your worth in this lance, buddy. See if you get it. I'm gonna kill this guy. Enemy unit destroyed. I'm ready. Yeah, don't even move, buddy. You got to pull off 185 damage in the one leg. So let's not use our scatters. That's 120. Well, let's go with everything. Let's try it. You either get it or you don't, bud. Yeah, thanks for that. Wow. Just wreck everything. <laughs> yeah, thanks for that. Alright, let's pick up everything and get the hell out of here. Yeah, I'm missing the Shadowhawk now that we gotta go pick up stuff. See who gets there first. Probably going to be you. Get on the road. What do you need? See, these missions, they should just say, you know, Understood. the mission's completed. Like, I know we should be picking those up, but if there's no mechs left on the board, like, why does it make you go through the whole thing to get it? Like, if there was reinforcements coming, I could understand that. On my way. Double time. Somehow I don't think there's going to be any reinforcements here. 
be nice if there was now, though. We've got, uh... Our mechs are still in really good shape here. The asset has been secured and is ready for retrieval. Affirmative. Loving the speed of this guy. I'm receiving you. There we go. All right, nicely done. Let's go home, guys. That mission's a little trickier to pull off if you've got uh, medium and light guys, because they can come from one base to the other really, really fast. So, all right, so our contract payment increased by 30%, which is kind of nice. And we did take that punch to the CT, which we couldn't do very much about, but I mean, other than that, I think we did pretty well. The Warhammer took a little bit of damage, but not too much overall. All right. And we can't complete it. Oh, we can complete a white. Do we want to complete a white? And I'm going to say yes, because you never know what kind of parts we might get. Uh, ATM. Let's put that in there for now. See what else we got. Clan LRMs. Clan cockpits. Ooh, internal combustion engine. We take that. Enhanced imaging. Minus 10% damage taken, plus 5% weapon damage dealt. See, like, even still, 5% isn't that much. It really isn't. Like, if you think of the arrow system, let's say the arrow system does maximum damage, which is 225. 5% of 225 is still only, like, 12 points of damage. So you're doing 237 instead of 225. So is it really worth the 5%? Now, the minus 10% damage reduction, yes, it is worth that because if you get hit by LRMs, instead of doing 4 damage, they're going to do 3, right? It's you, it's an automatic reduction. Instead of 8 damage for SRMs, it's a, it's a 7. Instead of 10 damage, it's a, it's a 9. Like, it's an automatic, you know, reduction overall. But the extra damage dealt really is not as good as you think it is. I mean, of course, unless you're hitting people all the time and, you know, oh, we need this for sure. Uh, hitting people all the time and you're getting like, you know, one damage left over, then sure, but, you know, I don't know. Guardian ECMs are really nice, especially the clan versions, because they're lighter. Um, oh, yeah, can't miss that. Clan Exchanger, you got that right. Can definitely use that right away. Case 2, though, as well. Um... I think we're going to swap out the, the uh, ATM-9, as nice as it is. I'm going to take the Case 2, although it needs clan armor. Still worth it. We're going to take it. Alright, so we got an Enforcer part and an Annihilator part. Nice. Clan Large Pulse Laser? Yeah. LB-10X Clan, not bad. How much does that thing weigh? 10 tons, it's pretty light. LB-5X, 6 tons, that's pretty light too. LRM-15 clan, a couple of heavy-medium lasers, which are nice. Ah, sellable internal combustion engine. We need clan double heat sinks, so that's good. So, actually, not bad overall. All right, there we go, the white. Now, let's see what we can get off this guy. Um, looking damage on units and protected targets. That's actually not that bad. 90,000 in repairs. Okay, that's actually about roughly what I thought was going to take to repair this stuff. And there's our financial report. Operating expenses six hundred forty-six thousand now. Oh, uh, sorry, six hundred forty-six thousand. Yeah, you know what I mean. Um, <laughs> six. Anyway. Um, all right. So the Wolverine's back in three days. Let's uh, manage the tasks here. Yeah. So it doesn't really matter where we put these guys. Um, Let's have a look in the mech bay now, really quick, at the white. So, we got our white here. Let's have a look. Refit. Oh, we got the fusion core. Endocomposite. Let's repair this. So, we didn't get the NSS. No worries. We didn't get the that. Clan pulse. Oh, clan double heatsink fusion core. That's awesome. Defense gyro. Um, endocomposite, not so much. Uh, clan double heatsink is nice. So we did okay on this guy. So let's just um, strip everything. And we'll make the repairs on him just for now. It's only 60 grand, three days. Log and 
All right. So, uh, yeah, we'll just leave that guy in the slot for now. We'll fix him up, and then we'll drop him into the background. Uh, the fire starter is probably going to be going in in the next round, so we'll leave him out for now. Uh, I'm really liking this flamer unit. It's uh, working out really well for me, so we're going to leave it in the battle. All right, guys, so we're going to end the episode here. When we come back next time, we will be taking in our secondary lands to see how they perform uh, with the new loadouts. Um, I think there's a mission here we can take if we go actually if we go to the commands actually let's look at the hiring hall real quick sorry I'm a little scattered here right now um, I don't think we've done that yet so if we stay here if we sell some stuff and stay here we can pick up some more pilots we can get the, the beta pod up and running and get more pilots um, this guy's big cost per month but he's already an advanced pilot um, so that's a possibility. Yeah, no, we'll know. Yeah, we'll see what happens. Eh, I don't think any of these guys are really what we want. But uh, in the contract section here, we do have a rep repossession mission. One and a half skulls, Jade Falcon. Could be anything. Um, could be good, could be bad. We can take this one and see how it works out. Usually the armored vehicles are really nasty. Uh, it is a battle in the Badlands, so it could be anything could happen. We may have to pull out of it, but we'll take this one next time with the medium lance or the second lance and see how that works out. Alrighty. So we're going to end the episode here. If you'd like to drop a like down below. Uh, also, um, I've got some questions. The mechs that we've got in storage, I'm just kind of hanging on to them. The full, like the full versions of the mechs, I'm just kind of hanging on to. We've got a couple of uh, Wrecking Wall Spiders, the Locust... You know, a couple things that we probably won't use. So if you guys mention in the comments down below, do you want me to sell them or do you want me to keep them or what? I, I mean, it doesn't really matter to me. It'd be nice to have the cash for the beta pod, but we can certainly get that cash from other places. We do have other stuff that we can sell that we've got lots of parts of now. So just throw it in the comment section down below if you care whether or not I sell them. Chances are we're never going to go back to them, but you never know, right? So yeah, just mention it in the comment section below. All right, until next time, we'll see everybody later.